Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day and in today's video um, I'm gonna actually finish touching up on something in my last video that I was supposed to talk about and that is my specs, my applications, and my hardware. So, well specs and hardware I guess can be uh, construed as the same thing. So. Uh, we're going to get into that, and then also, we have an ERT that we have right here that we're going to run into on Atmosphere right afterwards. Uh, I didn't want to take too much time, you know, flying and, and all that stuff and quantuming and everything. So, we've got the mission right here, and we're going to approach that. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue where I left off in the last video, and we're going to talk about uh, my application. So, I use MSI Afterburner. And I use this for overclocking and a lot of other things. Now, if you're not a person that feels comfortable with overclocking, don't worry. This software is used for a lot of other things. So you can monitor your uh, GPU temperature. Um, you can set it up to monitor your CPU temperature. It comes with, if you choose to download this as well, something called Rivatuner. And that essentially uh, allows you to have an overlay in game that you can toggle on or off so that you can actually monitor in game your frames, your GPU and CPU temperatures and any other stats that you want to include in the settings. Um, I can actually show you that really briefly. So this is Rivatuner. And uh, as you see here, uh, you can go to general properties. Or I'm sorry, you go to setup. And here you go to plugins. Uh, well, you can see everything that's here, you know, display energy rate. It'll ask you like what you want on display max frame rate, enable frame rate history overlay, all this stuff, you know, and then um, you can go to plugins and then it'll ask you hotkey and then you can basically set your hotkey. So that way you can do that and, um, you know, your user interface and everything like that. So here the way this works is you would check mark anything that you want to see inside of your overlay so i specifically have what i want to see in my overlay and that's how i have that set up okay now um back to msi afterburner um you can also uh increase your power limit to your card so you can get the full max power of your card as you see i have 103 percent as well as you can select your temperature limit so your temperatures won't exceed that limit because your cards uh fans will throttle and lower that temperature down and i guarantee you my pc is like so quiet it's like under i don't know like 16.5 decibels you can't even hear it it's so quiet even when the fans throttle i have all noctua fans uh you know in my in my cp in my gp in my sorry in my pc i can't english today so aside from that, um, you can control your fan speed. I have fan sync, so I have my fan synced up with my temperature limit. So my fan speed will increase as the uh, temperature gets closer to the limit to make sure that my temperature doesn't exceed what I have it set to as a cap. Now, for those of you that are interested in overclocking, this is my curve editor. And what I have for my card might not work for your card. Um, but if you are running a Gigabyte Aorus 3070 Ti, I have it set to under 2200 megahertz uh, at my cap is 2177 megahertz. Right now we're using, uh, we're at 2055 and my memory is at 10,001 and I have that overclocked by 500 megahertz here. So voltage to megahertz ratio is something that I can go over. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave me a comment and, and uh, down below and I can get, get to you in discord or uh, we can have a discussion about it and I can help you learn how to overclock or if you just have questions particularly about your card and, you know, what numbers, I can run those numbers as well based off of, you know, how many megahertz you started from and how many I think you can push onto your card. So, um, we already talked about my card is a 3070 Ti um, and it is overclocked. We can talk about my CPU now, which is a 12th generation uh, 12600K. I do not have uh my cpu overclocked although it is a cpu that you can overclock in the bios however my ram is overclocked and i have 64 gigs of uh corsair rgb pro 3600 by cl18 
So I do believe that uh, Star Citizen is really RAM bound. And if you're planning on playing Star Citizen, you absolutely need to have no less than 32 gigs of RAM. But I do recommend 64 gigs or higher um, if you're running at higher resolutions. So for 1080p, 32 is perfect. 16, I think, is really low. I think that 16 gigs of RAM is outdated for uh, gaming today and 32 or higher is required, especially for how good these games are starting to look. That is my opinion, um, but it's, you know, kind of proof is in the pudding, you know, from what we're starting to see. And uh, anyway, here we are, we're approaching the planet. We're gonna approach our ERT. So we're in an arrow, so we have to be very careful as we approach this because the hammerhead is not going to hold or pull any punches back. So we've got that anvil hurricane. We've got the hammerhead. We've got a Valkyrie. So the ship that's going to probably be able to keep up with us the best, more than likely, is going to be that hurricane. So we're going to worry about taking it out first. All right, so we're powering to shields and we're gonna try to hit really high up in space. So we heard that hurricane pretty bad. We're gonna get our boost back as well. We're gonna keep going, keep going. This isn't time so we can take our time with this. It's not a beacon and it's not a group ERT so we can take our time with this. All right, whoa, okay, that was weird. I think, oh yeah, I turned off the VTOL, oops. Alrighty, so now that everything's back to cycled how it should be, we're going to start approaching back. As we can see the hammerhead's actually starting to, to uh, come after us, so yeah, it's getting closer. So we're going to keep heading up into space, because if we can get the hammerhead alone, uh, that would be ideal for us anyway. So we're going to go all back to thrusters, because as we approach uh, space, we're going to get that boost back. So I don't really see the hammerhead anymore. All right, there we go. That time we didn't forget about the VTOL. And so it seems like the hammerhead absolutely does not want to continue to pursue. So that's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and go this way, put a little bit of a boost, and we're gonna drift using the decoupled to get a better angle. All right, we're going back coupled. There we go, all right, so that Valkyrie is not who we wanna kill first. We wanna kill that Hurricane, but for some reason, uh, that Hurricane is uh, nowhere to be found right now. Whoa, oh, that's the uh, Turbulence, trying to pull us the other way. Okay, I used VTOL to kind of curb that for a second. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna back off there. Yep, not really trying to deal with any of that right now. Yep, I understand. Switching back to shields. And once again, I'm not seeing my uh, the hurricane, so. Not really sure what to do here, but I guess we'll uh, we're too close. We're too close. Okay. All right, shields are starting to go down. We can't take on a Valkyrie and a Hammerhead at the same time. So that's something we're not going to be able to do not an atmosphere. We don't have the agility or the turn rate to be able to dodge every single one of those shots. So somebody's going to have to pursue and approach us. Once again, this is exactly the problem that I'm talking about in Atmo. So. Alright. 
gonna go ahead and reduce speed here. So looks like somebody's coming. I can't tell who it is, but we're gonna go ahead and change our UI. Because I can't stress this enough, man. Um, that's the Valkyrie. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Shit. All right. That's good. We got a chase out of him. It looks like our shields got hit, though, even though I... Yep. All right. We're going to get our shields back. And start turning around towards them. There we go. So now we're going to engage. And this is favorable for us. Because we're going to take his back. Even though he's got turret gunners. His main guns are not going to be able to, to fend us off. We've got a much better turn rate. And we got plenty of boost here to abuse him. So... We're gonna disengage here underneath him like this. Yep, let him shoot, that's fine. We're getting our shields back. Alright, he's running back to the hammerhead. That's something we don't really want. Shit! Yep, shields are hit. It's okay. Got our shields back. If we can get him to engage us again from a distance before it gets dark. Alright, everything's set to power. Come on. Got a hit on his engine. to get that Valkyrie. I'm going to disengage slightly. Now, I'm not sure what happened to that Hurricane, uh, but he might have died, to be honest with you. So, I don't really feel comfortable fighting this damn uh, hammerhead in the dark right now, but you know what? If this was in space, in an asteroid field, I would prefer that. But here we go, man. We're, we're going to do it anyways. We're gonna do it anyways. Alright, we're gonna try to hit him with all of our missiles. We're getting beamed, guys. We're getting beamed hard. Shields are critical. Come on. I don't want to disengage so hard, but... I don't think we have any missiles left. Alright, we gotta keep hitting them in the ass. We're gonna try to get some of this boost back as we're approaching. I'm not trying to joust them too much, but... Alright, we're gonna keep power on neutral for this next pass. We're really low to the ground. He's probably hit the ground a couple of times, to be honest with you. Yeah, we were really close to the ground. If you think I kissed the ground, yes, trust me, I did. Shields. Ugh. 
Okay, so we need to disengage because, uh, yeah, I lost boost. Okay, we really need to pay attention to our shields. Our shields are back at 100 now. But it's hard to see sometimes because of the way the, the UI likes to... I feel like I said a lot more confident. I didn't have to worry about not being able to see right now. Yep, see we're taking hits here as we're turning around. We're at 50% already. Not being able to see the ground is not good. I need to get this boost back, man. close to the ground because I can see the light off the floor. As long as we keep turning around them like this, we got a good chance of keeping this momentum. I'm not sure if we got his shields down or not, but I think we do. getting closer to the ground. Come on. Nope, don't want to do that. Come on, come on. everything to shields. See our shields are at zero there. That's dangerous. Oh man. We don't want his shields to come back so we're out of missiles. We need our boost though so I'm trying to leave my power management on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, because I'm, I cycle a lot. And I know sometimes maybe, like, even though I say it out loud.
So yeah, I just wanted to check that to see if his shields are going actually down. And his shields are down, yeah. My shields are down too. Shit. Uh, I messed up my momentum doing that. It's okay, his shields are going to take a lot longer to get back up than mine. Let's see if I can get that same rhythm back. Oh, come on, dude. This is a struggle now. It's pitch black here. This dude is so close to the freaking ground, man. And the thing is, he won't crash. Like, he'll smack the ground and he'll be fine. It's crazy. It's actually crazy that, that that's okay, though. Come on, come on. My nose is red, bro. I can't fucking see, man. I just really can't fucking see, bro. That's literally what it is. I just can't see a damn thing, dude. Oh, my God. He keeps beaming me like I can't get any of my shields back right now. Oh, fuck. It's so... Dude, this is, like, the most annoying thing, dude. This is why I don't do ERTs. Is you either get a dark planet or like the fucking hammerhead just doesn't want to fucking die dude like, I guarantee you the sun's gonna start coming up like any minute now Just slightly out of his turn rate right now. Bro, look, you see that hammerhead right now? There's, there's no fucking reason that that thing should be alive anymore. Shields. I know my shields are hit, man. I'm I'm fighting the damn thing. Bro, there's no fucking way, dude. Like... Shit. 
So remember, we're in atmosphere, fighting a hammerhead. Well, apparently my shields are down again. Dude, if I get this thing, okay, it's gonna be so freaking satisfying for how long I've been having to freaking, like, fight this asshole. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Jesus, dude. fuck is that? Okay. Alright, someone sent missiles at me and I don't know what the fuck that was or who that was. Okay. Tell me that was a hurricane that came back somehow. Tell me that that's what that was. Dude, I swear. Bro, no way. Bro. Oh, man. Yo, you can't make this shit up, guys. You really can't make this shit up. Fighting a hammerhead, random NPCs just started showing up. Random ass NPCs, by the way. Shields hit. Unfucking real, dude. Unfucking real. Because you know that this piece of shit shields are going to come back now. Yeah, look at that. Shields are back.
This is fucking ridiculous, guys. This is like absolutely fucking like insane. Like there's no reason that this should take this much fucking punishment, bro. was not worth the money at all. My goodness. Alright, well, oh, it was more to prove a point than anything else, man. Like, honestly, like, you know, we're just, we're kind of chilling, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking dark as hell, couldn't see a damn thing, fighting a, a hammerhead in Atmo. It was like such an uphill battle, man. I'm telling you. Well, anyways, um, that's why I wanted to show the presets off uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video um, and that my, uh, you know, my my specs and at least at the very least that uh, my, you know, advice about MSI Afterburner and Rivetuner uh, come in handy. And um, if you guys, once again, have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments section. And if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon so that anytime I go either live streaming or I post a new video, you will be notified right away. And uh, share my content because getting it out there is going to get me more views and that helps me out a bunch. So, all right, guys, take care. I'll see you.